doesn't have a weapon because his left hand is a weapon. He has a really good eye maker. So he's a super physical yes. character. That was really something that wanted. So that's why I was yeah. saying it's sort of punch with the central. You have the ones that you charge that lead to a direct knockdown. And you have the quick ones, Ooh. dodge, disappear, etc. It's really the core of that character. Orion is male only. Yeah. yeah. We'll show you some cool customizations uh, a little and bit later. Also, guys. he has that cool sprint, so you can <laughs> double sprint. That's draining stamina, but that's yeah. all you to catch runners. And also, from the sprint, he's able to trigger a tackle move that will knock down strike. He's really a good counter. Oh, to the oh, oh, oh. Because that's, that's, that's amazing. So Base on the distance at that moment, it's pretty easy to have a free attack on him. If you're able to do a lot of damage with one attack, let's say you're a raider, or let's say you uh, are. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, wow. Go back in on his face. Yeah, look at that. He's, 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 he's got a beard under there. He's not sad anymore. He's as happy as a Roman. <laughs> That's incredible. I love that. <laughs> and, and when you switch team color, you can see that the top is also switching team uh, color, nice. which is amazing. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's the Centurion, so with the Shinobi, so that's the default. That's the basic one. Yeah, the basic one. Still pretty badass. Pretty cool. Is we actually gave the uh, ability for the Raider to cancel any heavy attack, Raider's Fury, Zone Attack, into Stunning Top. So now you're going to be able to bait with many more attack to Stunning Tap with the Raider. You're going to be able to cancel that unblockable attack with a Stunning Tap. And also, Stampede Charge no drains enemy stamina while the Raider is running. We're also making sure that the enemy stamina is not going to start regenerating before the end of the move. So, that's the first thing that's going to make him stronger. Mm. Also, when you Stampede Charge somebody on a wall, the recovery of the Raider now is faster. So you can flow into attack hundreds of milliseconds earlier. So Ooh. that should allow you to do more moves out of the Stampede Charge. Also, we've put actual damage to the knee hit. Uh. Previously, it was just a stun plus stamina damage. Mm -hmm. No, it's dealing 15 damage, so it's mm -hmm. dealing the same amount of attack as a light attack. Plus, after that, you have a 100 millisecond faster recovery, so, yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> but, yeah. What about you, Damien? I main uh, the Kensei. Oh, okay. For a long Which time, Which is not the best choice, but uh, I don't know. I love that, uh, that hero. <laughs> and you, Rick? For me, uh, as we've t talked about a lot on the show, I love the Peacekeeper. So every, every week, <laughs> Ramon makes me sadder and sadder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I love the Peacekeeper. <laughs> And my main is the new Bushi. Ooh. I like the long range, I like the bleed effect, the fast moves, and... Cool. A lot of questions on the chat, including one from Naughty Art, and uh, I saw a lot of, uh, of the same question on the chat. Any chance for a Warlord nerf in the near future? Mm, not for the moment. We've nerfed him a lot. No, I feel he's in a good place. He has some strong matchup. He has some weak matchup. Overall, is he a good character? Yes, he's definitely a good character. But I want, I prefer today to, to be working on it. Cool. And the other thing on the warlord about uh, is uh, for that, be a wild too much animation change. Wow. For me, that's one of the strength of the warlord. Is actually his guard breakthrough have a lot of strength. And when you think you're safe because you're far from a ledge or far from a wall, actually, against oh the wall, that wall is closer. <laughs> that's his so only that's strength. Oh my god, I can't, I can't watch him. The wall up is uh, too powerful. Maybe uh, we might uh, consider changing that in the future. We'll see, but not as today. Did he say that's his only <laughs> strength? Or is his main the strength? truth is what someone said. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Dick. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> no. After he axes me to the face. <sighs> well done. Shoulder bash. We re enabled the ability to switch target during the shoulder bash. That was a bug. That was not intentional. And we hanged the guys that uh, did that. We're sorry for that. It's not, not good. <laughs> so, yes, now you can again switch back, uh, s uh, switch target while, uh, while doing the shoulder bash. And a lot of other uh, small things like uh, spectator camera, no, uh, when you have to. Let's all go to A. I have the catapult. Oh, is that yours? Nope. That was Wait, can I throw that from here? Yeah, you no should way. be able to. Oh, dude, we just we got them. That's it. That's up. Uh, okay, I'll have catapult on me. That was a clutch uh, bomb. Whoever threw that. <laughs> so fucking much. All right, I'm keyboard and mouse. That, that right, controller, controller is officially gone. I don't even know what I'm doing. What the fuck? Can't I control my character? Oh, uh, behind it, Jess. I don't know what to do. <laughs> that uh, we will uh, we will release that fix really soon when we can't give a date, but we are working on it at the moment. So for the characters that have a slower <laughs> timing to switch stance, like the Shugoki, the Nobushi, the Raider, the Lowbringer, their switch stance timing will be in line with all the other character. Exact timeline, sorry, I can't give it because that means a lot of, lots of animation changes, so we are not really sure how long it's going to take, and we don't want to create new bug with that, So, but we're working on it. Cool.